some of it just because there's a huge sale going on at Pink Monarch and I ordered I got these last month I think I don't even remember and um, just hadn't done them yet but I wanted to show you these this is called farmhouse calendar from antique papery took me forever to find this name because you know I didn't save it properly but these are gonna be some sweet little journal cards and I printed them on just 65 pound paper but um, they just have you know all of our little farmy things on there some cows you know a sheep without his tongue hanging out <laughs> oh but you know, so I'm just giving myself a huge variety, and plus, you know, I, I want to make sure that I get total tennis elbow from cutting all this stuff out. All right, now, um, this one I've had since April. Um, it's floral flashcards from Pink Monarch Prints, so I think they're on sale because, you know, I bought them when they weren't on sale, but they're just really pretty, and I printed them on, um, you know, 65-pound cardstock and then ran the backing papers on them also because it comes with backing paper so these are just great standbys to have um, you know you could put a little label on there something you know just something else to give them a little snazz oh this is the the um, backing paper that comes with it so you know it's a great one to have in your stash and then I took these and made them shrunk them to per page so they'd be a little smaller I did not print the back. I left them white because I just wanted them to be a little white. And then this one, I ran the card through first, then ran it, and I printed it three times, basically. Then ran it back through on the backing page, on the front and the back, just to give it a different lined look and a little darker, more grungy look. So, yeah, don't forget, run your stuff back through on another printed design, and you can get a whole nother look from it. All right, so that's Pink Monarch Prints, and um, shoot, Laura said she's having a sale on everything through tomorrow, the 23rd, and I can't remember what the, I'll have to go back and look at it, what her um, coupon is, but I'm sure if you go to her site, she might have it, but anyway, I will try to remember to do that. And I know I did not need any more fussy cut birds. This is from Scrappy Crafts Design, but I wanted some. When did I get this? In April. Um, but I wanted, you know, because Christmas has come in, but I wanted some of these different birds, and they're so clear and not fuzzy. This really crazy, beautiful quality. And then, you know, Mr. Hoot Owl, I mean, hello. And then this one. So you get th three pages of them. Um, okay. And then this one, I know, let me put these away. Because this these are the star of the show. But I, I had these, so I had to show them. Okay, this is from the, the Journal Boat. And um, it's called Pink Memento. And I got this back in April, too. I know. But these are just some soft little things. Plus, they have, like, some bees on there that maybe I can throw into, you know, my bees and some little eggs and junk. So I, I just, I don't know. I just, oh, that's duplicate. Oh, because this one is printed regular. And then this is fit to size, so that way you get a, a larger design instead of the smaller one. So just depend if I'm not going to lose too much of the design, I print it to fill my page. But, you know, I'm different like that. And then, like I said, this gives you a great um, little sneak on how to layer some of your stuff if you're just not sure on how to make sure I'm in the thingy here, that you're not sure how to collage, per se, or layer. I mean, look at someone else's stuff and then just find papers and things that you have that's like it and, you know, make you a page inspired by theirs, by their digital. I know, you know, that might not be what you're supposed to do, but, I mean, it's a great, you know, hint. Like, this this right here would be really pretty with um, some of Michelle's summer bounty things. So, you know, I might just leave that out and we'll use that for an inspiration. And then 
Um, this is just some journaling papers. And then, you know, I fell in love with... This is probably why I bought it. Just because of the backing papers are just so pretty that you can use them all the time. And then this collage, one of hers, too, is really pretty. And then I love this one. But it's, you know, like this is some farmhouse type stuff that you can use on anything. Oh, come on. I love this for, you know, a backing. And it's even light enough for journaling. So this would be like one of my little go-to journaling ones. And this one too, because I love the green. I thought that would go great with some of my farm things um, from the Summer's Bounty that Michelle has. And this one too. I know. I'm telling you, that's why I bought it, because I think of those. And then this is great. I wish she'd had, you know, the other colors done in here, but you can always use it, turn it this way and use them for backing papers so you can journal on that way. And then these sweet polka dots. And then another collage that she has. And then this one. And then it comes with some ephemera, so a little envelope and journal card. And then some plain backing paper. And little pockets. I did print this on my 40, um, 45 pound paper, which is, you know, rare. It's, uh, oh, that's where I bit the bullet and bought five reams for $100. I know. But maybe after I'm, oh, done with that, if they don't go down in price or if it's not available, I'll be gluing my crap to the back of book pages and stuff. This is on 65 pound recollections. I guess I need to hold on y'all turn it the right way so you can maybe see but these are just some really pretty um, little cards and this you can use anytime I love that little tealish color and then some tags oops and some other ones isn't she cute hold her little eggs that bird's like um excuse me you know this is not naked and afraid or alone those are my bird eggs I don't know if any of y'all watch that alone, but then people are dropping like flies. They're not even going to make it to 60 days. Anyway, and then some pretty little, I love the little clock, and then these tags, and then little stamps. You know I'm a sucker for stamps. And then these are just really pretty. So that, that is those. And like I said, um, I need to keep this out and do, do inspired by collage page okay so hopefully I won't lose that amongst the the rest of them all right so here we go this is the situation I saw these on pink monarchs prints and like I said, they are, when I bought them in June, they were on sale and they're supposed to be a 50% off sale now. Now, if you guys struggle with, and then she, if you go there, she actually has links to her YouTubes to actually, how to actually make these things. So I bought them because she has eight of them. I mean, I've, I've, um, I don't know how, I think she might do one, one a month or something. So there's eight plus I think two other ones that are some of the kind of tuck things. But I thought this would be something for us to do together so it can help inspire you to um, like make this. And then I wanted to take this and use like someone else's, some of these other digitals and show you, you know, how to use regular paper because they're all pre pre-measured and cut, but how to use regular papers to come up with basically the same, you know, premise or design on there. But, so she is going to inspire us to use these massive digitals that I have. And they come with just um, five, four or five pages. This one has five pages. So there's that one. But, like I said, these are awesome for, you know, beginners or for anybody or for someone who's struggling to use a digital kit and to make something with them these are great i know that's what we're supposed to be here to inspire you to do but sometimes we have to use other people's inspirations to kind of you know do their thing all right and then this is her super simple number two it has four pages 
and you might notice some of these papers are on some other people's, you know, like freebie stuff that they have, but I mean, you know, they're still just as pretty as can be, and I think these will go great with our, our journals that are coming up. And that's that. That one has five pages. And like I said, um, I don't know. No, I don't know because my thingy, sometimes it prints it, sometimes it don't. But, you know, the sale now is better than when I bought it because um, since she's having a 50% off one, but it's too late. I already bought them all. So, pfft, aren't I the dummy? Okay, anyway, so this one's five pages. It's um, number three. Now, like, see, this one, she didn't include her cover page to show what what it is or how to make it, so you actually have to go watch her YouTube, but I will watch her YouTube, and then we'll make it together. I know. So, anyway, um, and this is her number three, and like I said, you know, I, I wish she'd go back on some of these and put her final picture on so you can actually see what it is. Because, you know, I like to look instead of watch a video sometimes, you know. I'm special like that. What can I say? Okay, this one has five pages. And it has that. And like I said, these would be beautiful to, um, you know, once you use them, you don't have to use them the same way. You can cut this off, make this a tag. Um, whoops, how wide is this bad boy? It's four and three eighths, so you can, you know, make it a big tag, or you can even trim it down on on here. I mean, you can get more uses of here. Don't just think to use it one way. You know, gotta go out of your comfort zone. Hold on, we're gonna go out of our comfort zone right now. We're gonna twirl, and then we have these. That looks like a Tim Holtz butterfly, <laughs> and then we have this page. And then we have this page. And then, like I said, if, you know, you use this, you make one, we'll make one. But when, then you go back and you're like, oh, I have little scraps that are these sizes. I can, and you can just make some, some scraps you have and some other papers these size. And then just make a whole different, you know, look from your digital papers. And then this, I don't know what it is, but it looks like there's two pieces and it folds here. I, I don't know. Like I said, we'll have to investigate ourselves because I just bought them because that's what I wanted to do with y'all. To do in, inspired buys. Okay, and this is number four. Super Simple's number four. And it's got four pages in here. And so you have this page. You got this one. You have these little ones. I'm guessing these go inside here. I know, like I said, I didn't really look at it too much. <laughs> I just bought them because I thought it would be something interesting for us to do, especially because when I get stuck and I don't want to think about doing something, I like to use other people's little thoughts and then other people's digital and come up with some pretty things. All right. I know. Um, five pages on this one. Oh, I hate gnat season. John just cut some grass today, too. I know he got his, his tractor running and cut the back hill in a couple of different, you know, swipes. And it looks so good. And But he's tired now. But two thumbs up. Now, yesterday he was wore out. So, I don't know. I, anyway, so he's doing good, though. But, yeah, I think... You know, he had three, like, woohoo days, and the fourth one was like, whoa. And then today, he kind of had a good one, but I think he did a lot today, so I don't know, because he's off. He's They're on their crazy summer schedule. I know, here I am, yak, 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 yak. Um, don't know what this is, because it looks like it's folded, and I don't know. Like I said, we will find out together. I know, I'm, I'm about useless. Look, there's a bee, though. <gasps> there's two bees. We can use them again in a bee journal. And then we have, oops, well, this is the way that one goes, and that one goes this way, but these are that way, so I don't know. Like I said, oh, and it has this back page. But this is what you end up with, and like I said, we're going to put them together and see. And then this is her number six. Like I said, there's eight so far. So, but... 
this I printed a couple of times because first I printed them on regular paper. Um, it has five pages. And then I decided to print them on the 45-pound 40, paper because, you know, I'm like, it's five pieces of paper. Come on. You know, it's going to take me more time to glue <laughs> to glue stuff to it than it would to go ahead and use five pieces of paper. So I, I sucked it up and, and used five pieces of paper. And then this one. And then, like I said, these are just um, regular papers that we will we can use for like collages for you can make labels out of these or whatever so you know don't just think because you went oh i'm a dummy you can use your dummy papers <laughs> candace says yes you can okay this is number seven and um it has five pages same thing with here i printed on regular paper and then i decided to just bite the bullet and use some more so we have like this page, we have these, we have those, we have them, we got some bees, I know, and I think this is meant to be a foldy thing, but you can always cut it in half and have two tags. And then these are just the extra that I printed on 32 pound paper. So. We will use them in some collages or something else because I'm not wasting this, that paper. So, all right. Now, that was number seven. This is number eight that I just saw. So I just got this one. Ouch. And this is number eight. And she has a couple other ones on there, but, you know, some didn't interest me. I know, I'm bad. Which I'm just going to tell you. So we have these. They have some tabs. And some little eggs and some birdies. And like I said, we will just be following her little instructions, making these. And like I said, I'm going to, you know, cut out the same thing from other digitals that we have so we can see making this one and then making the other one. And then this is the other one that I got because I just liked it. It's called Folded Tuck Tag. Um, like I said, did not get this on sale. I paid full price. Oh. Anyway, so, wish I'd have known about that coupon sooner. But, I don't check my email, so it's my own fault, but this should just be on sale. If you're having a, a, a whole sale, then you just should have it all on sale. Anyway, wham wham. Oh, just like, y'all saw Kroger is now running a, a thing that they want you to join the stupid Kroger Club for, I don't know, $65 a year to get extra benefit stuff? Y'all, I'm coming into your store to spend my money. Give me the best price you can. Thank me for coming into your store to waste my money on your inflated food prices. And give me something and don't make me have to spend money just to get, you know, let's, uh, give me some sales. All right. Mm. Yeah, so I saw that commercial. I was like, oh, people, come on. And then my daughter said that their Walmart down there in Biloxi, Mississippi is all self-checkout. There is no cashier checkouts anymore. Well, I'm sorry. I hate that. But anyway, so there's that one. All right. So that is our, our little, my latest Etsy share. I know. But I had to share these with you guys. And I'm going to go ahead and get them posted now. So that way it's something that we can work with. Because I just thought y'all would love these super simple kits from Pink Monarch Clip. Uh, hello. Pink Monarch Prince. And um, like I said. Oh, hate the thing I go watch that video again. And then, you know, we have these other, these other couple little ones here too that I just had to throw in there just for, you know, toots and whistles. But that, this is the main show. Okay, so thanks for watching. Thanks for sharing some, some of your time with me. I know I'm going to, I'm not going to share anymore. Well, I'm not going to say that. I won't share anymore this week. So, and then some of these other ones that I had 
went back because you know there was some that I had and I'm like oh like the watercolor daisies I had to go buy the stinking library cards and just some other little ones that when I was in there click in and you know because you have to go to the Etsy shop to do to get the link to go back to put it into your you know listed in your digitals and everything and so when I was in there listing the digitals I'm like oh that's cute click put in my cart oh Nick Next thing you know, my God, here I am. I done spent $30 again. So I have to stop. So, but anyway, all right. So thanks for watching. Thanks for sharing some more of your time with me. And um, like I said, I think, um, you know, if you don't want to buy these, then that's fine because we are going to make them. And if you like them, then you can go get them, but they are on sale. But hey, whatever, you can buy one or whatever for two bucks. I mean, come on. Um, but then I'm actually going to take like I said, these cut up some of the stuff that we have from our, all these other kits that I've shown you and make, you know, inspired by using those um, kits too. So if, um, if y'all want to maybe send me, if you have, if y'all have some of these digitals that I've, that I've um, shared these last couple of days and you want to make sure that, that I do one of these um, inspired by um projects with send, put them in send me an email and put on there you know which kit you have and which one you'd like that you'd like to, for me to do one of these inspired by and I will try to see if I can't get enough of y'all's that you have <coughs> and um and make sure that we do some that you, I know y'all have that I have so we can you know do them together too all right so I will see y'all on the next video thanks for all your love thanks for all your support thanks for subscribing and um, I will see y'all later. So have a great day and a blessed day. Lots of kisses, lots of love. And um, we will be making something soon. I mean, on my next one. So, But let me go get this uploaded so y'all can have it. So you can, you know, like, scream at me and everything else and say it's all Candace's fault. It is. But, all right. I'll see y'all later. Bye, guys.